primarily a custom injection mold builder. That's our core business. We uh, have full engineering services, custom design uh, injection molds, in-house fabrication, as well as uh, mold sampling, testing, and, and lab equipment. Back around 2007, uh, you know, some of our equipment was, was getting to a, an older age. Uh, it was time to start reinvesting in new equipment. You know, Makino was, was certainly one of the machine manufacturers we were researching. Uh, we had had prior history with some older wire machines and, and other pieces of equipment that have lasted and stood the test of time. And uh, so Makino was definitely part of our selection process. And the final decision was, was to purchase a, an F5 back in 2008. That was our first Makino from a CNC hard milling standpoint. And I've uh, been very happy with it ever since. You know, since uh, since bringing the, our first Mokino in, it was it was obvious the the continuous uptime and the the accuracy and repeatability uh, gave us much greater throughputs and capacity. And and since then, uh, over the last eight years, we've added uh, five additional Mokinos, and it just continues to prove machine after machine um, that that. They continually run. The uptime and accuracy, repeatability, continues to increase our throughput, allowing us to be, you know, more competitive both in cost and and in lead times, and and be able to handle larger capacity of workload, uh, while still maintaining high quality accuracy and delivery. And you know, being being machinists and and basically machine builders ourselves, molds being a machine, you know it. It's easy to, to see quality when you know quality. And, uh, you know, part of the selection process wasn't just, you know, wasn't price or whatever. It was uh, investing in, in quality equipment to match the quality molds that we built. And uh, it, was, it was very evident and easy to see in the Makinos and the, the pride and quality put into, into the machines. Once we got the Makinos, we started noticing some serious improvements in a lot of areas within our mold building. Uh, it wasn't just about an improved cycle time, which we, we got significant improvement on. It was how the work flowed through the department changed. They were able to get work completed correctly in a minimum number of tries compared to what we had to do to get it and be able to confidently hand it over to mold makers or other departments to continue on it. Uh, Handworking, they would be able to handwork or hand a block to our handwork department, and you know we may put an extra forty-five minutes in cutting it to give them a better finish, but we were saving them five, eight hours of job sometimes in polishing time. I'd have to say, all in all, we're probably able to produce fifty to seventy-five percent more work through my department than before we had the Makinos. Um, the big difference is to be able to predict the work, schedule something right behind it and be ready for it. Uh, it has completely changed how much work goes through that department. It's, it's a game changer for the entire company to be able to get on a schedule and stay on a schedule. What they can offer above and beyond just the machine is also uh, very valuable to a, to a company and, and sometimes even more valuable to a smaller company that, that may not have resources at their fingertips. Uh, Makino can be an extension of some of those resources and help through some problems.